Welcome to our move to France. In December 2020, myself, Sam, our three boys, Charlie, Henry and George, our two dogs, Lucy and Teddy, decided to leave the UK. We packed up as much as we could in our van, rented a cottage and drove 1,200 miles to the place we now call home. Please follow us on our journey, the ups, the downs that we come across along the way and our renovation of our new not yet a chateau. Good morning, welcome to our move to France. Uh, I haven't been uh, filming uh, for the past couple of weeks really. I've been incredibly busy getting a uh, chateau ready for a wedding which went smoothly. Um, come over the house today to start the path to realise that it's, near, it's a bank holiday today. Um, I'm here to meet Maria and Sean who are going to lend me their long chainsaw so I can chop the branches down to make sure that vehicles can get up and down the path. But because it's a bank holiday, I'm not allowed to start up any machinery. Which is not good. But if I'm being totally honest, I'm absolutely exhausted. For the past two weeks, it's been 35 degrees plus. And we've been cleaning, building of beds, uh, finishing off a bar. It's been, it's been an absolute killer. So today, just to be able to chill out. Fortunately, it's rained for the last couple of days. It's cooled down dramatically. Um, so I think it's a good time to start doing what we need to do. Hopefully we'll be able to get the roof on the shed so we can start putting things in there, start moving bits and pieces over to put in the shed. Uh, yeah, so now we've got the chateau out of the way, um, we can start concentrating on over here and get this stuff getting all sorted out now, start getting our stuff over, um, as of, I think it's Friday, the uh, quality of the videos will improve because we're now getting fibre installed at the property we're renting so obviously I can upload a lot quicker so the quality of the videos will be better so obviously if you're watching it on a, on a TV or on a laptop it won't be so grainy so yeah we'll get the trees done over the next few days and we can then go from there um, because obviously we can't do anything else as regards to the stone because I can't get any higher equipment for at least, I think it's another week now, I believe, when the hiring company returns to work. So, got a lot of chestnuts. Chestnuts, yeah, chestnuts, conkers. That'd be nice. So, yeah, not really a lot to update you guys with. Um, other than there will be a lot more videos coming out just soon uh, of us actually working and doing stuff as opposed to wandering around and chatting uh, as I say tomorrow we'll start getting on with the path chopping down the trees etc well not the trees but chopping down the um, the uh, low branches so the lorries can get up and down uh, we probably will take down one large tree purely because um, what I don't want to do is a lorry turn up, get halfway up the path, and go, I can't go any further because there's a tree in my way. So I think one of them's going to have to go, unfortunately. Not something I want to do, but something is going to have to be done at necessity, unfortunately. Um, there has been other things happen here that we haven't discussed on the channel. Uh, which has really upset me and Sam. But at the moment, because we may have to go down some form of legal avenue to deal with it, 
we don't really want to discuss it at the moment because everything will be hearsay and you know we, we don't know exactly the ins and outs but let's just say that you know some of our property not the house but the land has been damaged by someone and uh yeah, it's upset me and Sam, so that will be uh, discussed at a later date. Um, I was going to do, put it on a video, but Sam said not to, so that won't be on there for a while. Um, so yeah, other than that, as I say, there's not an awful lot to report over here. There's not been any, any work carried out, um, as I showed you. We came over with some furniture uh, that we purchased. Uh, I haven't even set that up yet. I think Sam put it all the way on Saturday. So I took a uh, Charlie shooting Saturday, which he enjoyed. Uh, which we've both applied for our licenses now because um, basically the lady there I asked if, obviously, if I bought a gun and Charlie wanted to come shoot him, could he just use my gun? And she said, no, we couldn't just like pass it from one to the other. So he'd need his own license. So we have our temporary license now, which <laughs> allows us to carry a gun and cartridges, but we still can't buy one. So, but um, next weekend we should be picking up our licenses. And then we've got to go back to the doctors. Um, and then, yeah, we can then go and buy a, and buy a gun and cartridges. And, yeah, it's good news. So I enjoyed myself at the weekend, did quite well. Uh, and that's obviously coming back a little bit. I think I hit the three out, three out of five on each. Uh, that wasn't bad. Um, yeah, so once I pick them up, I'll take you into the gun shop. Uh, well, providing the shop owner allows it. Uh, hopefully buy a gun. And then, uh, I won't do any more videos of shooting, because I don't think particularly people enjoyed the video, so... It might be more interesting if, uh, Sam had taken the video of the clays actually being fired off and if you could see if we actually hit them or not rather than just basically seeing us standing there shooting so probably wasn't particularly enjoyable if you want to see more then obviously we can do more but as I say um, I think a lot of you found that quite boring so we won't do any more of that unless it's requested for um, so yeah uh, I'll up to upload this tonight. Uh, we are going to do a Q&A. If you look in, under the community tab, there's a, a post put there for a Q&A. At the moment, I don't think there's enough uh, questions to warrant um, us doing the Q&A yet. As for the lady who sent, a, sent me a message, um, I would just go for it. If you're thinking about coming to France, just go for it, because if you don't, you never will, same as us. Had we not done what we did and literally jumped in the car or on the spur of the moment, uh, we probably wouldn't be here. So, just got to do it. If you can do it, do it. As for the children, as I explained, yeah, it's difficult for them, but they will adapt. Charlie has come here, um, he's learned some of the language, he's got himself a girlfriend, you know, he's enjoying his life over here and he was 15 when we came here, so, and the other two are learning the language, uh, <laughs> George's got a girlfriend apparently, um, I think Henry's the only one that's not really fitting in especially well. But I think that comes down to the fact that he'd rather play his Xbox games with the people in the UK than uh, than getting out and about, and, you know, meeting friends and so on and so forth. But 
if I'm being honest, it was the same in the UK. He would never really go out and meet up with his friends or anything like that. He was always um, always a homebody. I think he's quite quite shy and quite nervous. So for him to be for him to let his guard down and go out, he finds it quite difficult. But as I say, he's always been the same. George and Charlie has always been very outgoing and you know. <laughs> They're the type of people that would go on a roller coaster ride where Henry wouldn't even think about going on a roller coaster ride, so it all depends on the child. I think that's what I'm trying to say. So yeah, if you think about do it, doing it, just go ahead and do it. If you need any help, any advice, um, we're always here to help. So um, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get off. Uh, if you wouldn't mind uh, liking and subscribing to the channel, that'd be great. And uh, we'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye-bye.